growing up in South London, um, I had a good childhood. You know, I wasn't in trouble. You know, I was very focused, disciplined. I had a passion for music. I remember one teacher um, writing in my report, Gavin needs to realize there's more to life than football and music. <laughs> need, a, need a feel there, going into that. Going into the verse. Yeah. Sure. Like some, something like a... I can't remember not being into music. I think my dad bought me a keyboard when I was really young. So apparently they used to struggle to get me off, off the keyboard because I'd not come down for dinner, I'd not come out of my room, and I'd be on there for hours and hours on end. <laughs> That's, that would be interesting. Obviously, because of the music, I had another path I could have taken, and I guess the, the dilemma was, you know, I was at Brit school maybe when I went through college years, and the dilemma was always, what do I do now? I've left Brit school, and it's like, well, you know, Try and go for the football. I got to West Ham, I was 18. I hadn't lived, you know, I hadn't seen anything to speak of much, really. For me, it was just business as usual. The only thing is it was for a premiership football club. So I took it everything in my stride. So at the time, I think there were quite a few key players in the first team injured. And then Friday morning um, before the game, it was like, yeah, Gavin, you're with the first team today. You're training with the first team. I'm like, am I? <laughs> I was like, why? Like, I never trained with the first team. Like, I didn't realize, I didn't put two, two, two and two together. Joe Cole obviously was starting, and then I came on being the young, fearless kid that I was at the time. Just like, yeah, well, let's, let me go on. My brother was in the stand, and my sister and my dad, and you know, it was like, here I am. This is what I've worked all my life for, this moment. Nearly scored. Um, don't know how James got down, so fair play. Um, and then, of course, the infamous situation where me and Trevor Sinclair are two on one with David James. <laughs> Trevor decided to just blast it over the bar to, to everyone's dismay in the club. He, he just needed to square it. So apart from that, you know, I, you know, made runs and passed, you know, kept the ball here and there, and it was quick game was quick. Um, I remember thinking, wow, I don't have time to even settle. Like, the game is quick. Got to training and was assuming that I'd be training with the first team. And then I got the, no, 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 Gav, you're, <laughs> you're with the youth team. And I, I, I don't think I've ever recovered from that. Because <laughs> I just thought, yeah, but I did so well, what's, <laughs> you know, I want to play. Who wants it? Who wants it? Make angles. Who wants it? There wasn't really an answer for that, I guess, other than, well, we're not going to need you in the squad for the next game because perhaps someone is now fit. Yeah, but I nearly, I nearly won the game. I did well. I'm a good player. <laughs> I, can't, I couldn't equate why. You know, I couldn't put two and two together as to this is why you're not back with the first team. I just took it personally, I think. I dropped out of professional football and played non-league for about two and a half years. But I remember, like, after one game, about halfway through the second half, I pulled my hamstring, and I knew that was the last time I would see a football pitch, because I was like, I can't do this anymore. And I walked off the pitch, and I, and I never went back. Never, never touched for a ball again. Quit early and decided to pursue music. Gentlemen, we're back in the room. Yo. 
chorus. No, I, I can't. I can't move in the chorus. Uh, so, 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 you take it or take it out completely. Or, or what year does it particular? Just, um... I've taken the third out. Might have to take the fifth out as well. I feel like I'm in a, a good headspace, you know, having done football, taking what I learnt and now bringing it into my music journey and career and life as well. Until this is right, we're doing it. <laughs> yeah. Because this is really, this is a really important record. It's got, it's, it's got to go for the juggler. That whole process was about capturing a performance with the musicians to bring the song ideas to life. I'll be back. Lads, it's good, but it's not great. Should be 16s more than 8s. Do you know what I mean? Back up. More, more. Bring some Phil Collins to the table. Yeah. Bing, bing, boom. So it's like, yeah. When I left football and, you know, began to get into music as a career and profession, I really wanted to make world-class art with world-class people. Uh, that became my main focus. So I guess that's the main thing that motivates me, is just being able to look back after after my career and, and say, yeah, I, I made some great music and I sung some great songs and People loved it and we had a good time. So I wanna say thank you for being thank you. 